If you're ever driving through Ames, Oklahoma in the northwestern part of the state, you need to stop and stay a while. They have a very nice car museum about three blocks north of downtown Ames. They have a very impressive veterans memorial, but they also have a very unique kind of museum. It's, it's 400 million years ago, they had a thing come down and it explode. You've got to come and see it. And what you will see here is an outdoor museum that explains what happened here millions of years ago. And simply put, a meteor around 1,000 feet in diameter and traveling around 70,000 miles an hour hit the earth where Ames, Oklahoma is now located. It blew a hole or crater over 8 miles in diameter and created what is known as an astroblim. And this particular astroblim formed in just a few seconds made a big impression in the area to say the least and the result is now the largest oil producing crater in the United States. Now the idea for a museum celebrating this fascinating event came along in 2006 and it opened to the public on August the following year. From uh, what we know this is the only museum in the world dedicated to an oil producing crater and from this crater over 18 million barrels of oil have been taken at 18 billion cubic foot of natural gas. This has become one of the best studied craters on earth. You can even go to the Oklahoma Geological Survey and find several books on the crater. While you're visiting the outdoor museum, you can get all the technical information of what can happen when, well, how can I put this, a giant rock hits the planet. And what took millions of years to develop under the earth's crust can be explained in a very fast, six-minute, colorful, easy-to-understand video. There are graphs and charts on the museum walls that also explain the geological aspects and how this crater not only impacted this area millions of years ago, but how it continues to impact it in another way, through tourism. It's really brought a lot of guests to this town. I mean, uh, as you can see, right now there's guests out here waiting to get in here and take a look at it. Uh, we've had... Uh, people from several different states and countries. I've met some of the people from different countries, like from Italy and England and, uh, and I believe France. So stop in Ames when you have a chance and discover a little bit of natural history at its best. In Ames, I'm Dino Lawley.